Hello and welcome to this introductory video about the Brick Train Awards 2021. The event is run by LNUR, a Lego train club in the UK, and BMR, a resource for Lego train fans in the US. And we have some judges with us. Um, so uh, I'm judging the UK. We have Kale from BMR, who's one of the judges for the US. And we have Enrico, who's a judge with me in Europe as well this year. So um, let's introduce some of the uh, judges. So, uh, Kale, would you like to tell us a little bit about you, where you're from, um, that sort of thing? Um, yeah, I'm Kale Leapart. I'm a, I've been a Lego train builder for many years. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I'm from uh, York, Pennsylvania in the USA. I'm a member of the Pennsylvania Lego Users Group. Um, I was a uh, uh, a contributor and uh, uh, to rail to the uh, now defunct Railbricks magazine, and I started Brick Model Railroader, which is a a, uh, a Lego train blog, and we also sell we also now sell instructions and uh, accessories for Lego trains. <laughs> cool, thank you, Kyle and uh, Enrico. Do you want to introduce yourself briefly for anyone who doesn't know you? Sure, I'm Enrico Lucy from uh, the Netherlands. Um, I'm also a Lego train builder, of course. I uh, haven't been uh, along in the group uh, as long as Kale, for example, uh, but I've been working, well, I'm thinking four or five years, to, uh, started around the end of 2016. Um, most people probably know me for a lot of German steam locomotives that I built uh, and a couple of modern electric ones here uh, from the Netherlands. Um, yeah, and I'm excited to join in this year uh, last year was a blast. It was really fun to join in. There were a lot of amazing and really cool entries. There were. Looking forward uh, to what this year will bring. Yeah, great. Thanks, uh, Enrico. So the awards for anybody who, who doesn't know are free to enter and they're virtual awards. So anyone around the world can enter. We have some great prizes from our sponsors, uh, Trick Bricks, who have sponsored prizes all around the world and uh, we'll update some details on the website on the sponsors and prizes section about those uh, after we've recorded this. Um, we also have uh, some prizes from Brick Tracks for US winners, uh, which look great, some track packs. And uh, we have um, winners of the Steam Locomotive prize and each region will receive a $50 gift card for um, Train Bricks who uh, offer 3D printed rods. So I think that's quite a cool prize for the Steam Loco builders. Um, so moving on, uh, Kale is going to cover the categories this year for the awards. And we have 13 categories this year. So quite a few more than last yeah. year. <laughs> yeah, so we have 13 categories. Um, we have several returning categories, um, some new categories, and we've adjusted a few categories. Um, first up, we have uh, the locomotive categories. We have best steam locomotive. Um, if your locomotive is boiling water for power, <laughs> this is the category for you. <laughs> we have uh, best diesel locomotive. Um, if you're burning diesel fuel for your locomotive, this is your category. And then we have best electric locomotive. If you're getting power from electric power from either an overhead wire or a third rail or some other electrical source. This is the, you know, that's your category. Um, moving on, we have best other locomotive model. This is for locomotives that may not necessarily fit into those other three categories. Um, this is where a narrow gauge locomotive or a, uh, or say a locomotive built a, at a scale greater than, you know, minifig scale or, you know, something greater than one, probably 140th scale, um, you know, large locomotives like that. Um, this is kind of a catch-all for those like, you know, little oddball things. Um, then we have a uh, best passenger wagon model. Um, this is where all your passenger entries go. Um, your coaches, your baggage cars, that kind of thing. We have best freight wagon. You know, this is for your box cars, your goods vans, uh, flat cars and such. We have a new category this year called best special wagon model. This is for that uh, 
that non-revenue stuff, uh, things like cabooses or brake vans or, or maintenance of way equipment, you know, snow plows, that sort of thing, things that don't necessarily fit into the other two, uh, pa- the other, other, fit into the passenger or the uh, freight wagon category. Um, then moving on, we have best structure. Um, this is for all your, you know, buildings, your stations, line side structures, anything like that. Um, and then for, we have uh, returning again, we have the two display categories. We have best individual train display. Um, this is, you know, any train display built entirely on your own. And then we have best group display for uh, any train display built by a group. And uh, two things to note about these two categories. Um, these are judged, these two categories are judged globally. There, there is no, um, re- there will be no regional winner for these um, just because, you know, of the uh, uh, amount of entries that we get for these two categories, we figured it, it, it's better to, to have, the, uh, have them dredged solely regionally so we have a, a, a nice spread of uh, entries. Um, also, uh, for these two categories, we will not be accepting digital entries because that's just a little unfair. <laughs> it's, it, it's quite easy to, to generate a digital layout, whereas you know, building a physical layout is, is a bit hard. So for these two categories, it's um, physical displays only. And then lastly, we have uh, we have three T fall categories now. Um, we have best T fall locomotive model. We have best T fall wagon model, and then we have best T fall display or structure. Um, so you know we're expanding on the uh, the teen fan of Lego categories this year. So I think that's it. Um, is there anything I missed? Nope. I think um, I think that was uh, everything. Thanks, Kale. So uh, we can move on to Enrico, who's going to list uh, some of the rules involved with the awards as well. Well, the rules are almost the same as last year. There are some changes, uh, but most importantly, uh, all the rules are able to. You're all able to find all the rules at our website, uh, BrickTrainAwards.com. Um, Digital models, like uh, Gil mentioned earlier, uh, are allowed, except for the group and the individual display uh, categories. Um, custom parts are allowed. That include power systems, wheels, watts, uh, stickers, printing, lining, uh, track, 3D print, printed parts. They are all allowed. Um, you can submit any model completed in the last two years. So if you started four years ago and only recently finished it, you can still enter it. So just call it a work in progress for the last four years and then you're okay. Um, if your model won last year, you're not able to submit it this year. You're only able to submit a model that, you, uh, that hasn't won earlier. Um, entries need to be received by the end of February. That's the 28th of 20, uh, 2021. Um, if you have any questions about the rules that you can find uh, on the website, um, try to frequently ask questions. Most of the time your uh, question has been asked earlier. And if we answer it, we always post it on there. Uh, if you have a question that hasn't been listed on the website, you can always contact, contact us uh, through email, uh, preferably email uh, actually. Um, and then we, keep, uh, we try to answer your question as soon as possible. Thank you, Enrico. Right, so um, I have a little bit of a section to do. So we have made some changes to the regions in which you can enter. So we still have the four key regions. We have um, Asia, Americas, which covers North and South America. Uh, We have um, Australasia as well, which covers um, Australia, New Zealand and Oceania, um, that region, if you want to enter there. And Europe has changed slightly, so Europe still covers Europe, continental Europe. Um, We've also merged that with the Middle East, um, so we're hoping to see some entries from members of uh, Israel Lug and anybody else based in the Middle East, you're very welcome to enter uh, and you will be judged in the European um, region. And 
Africa as well. So um, as far as we can see, the only Lego user groups in Africa are in South Africa. And I think there's two or three groups. Um, so your entries, if you do want to submit anything, will be judged in uh, what we're calling the Europe, Middle Eastern, and Africa, E-M-E-A. <laughs> um, so we're looking forward to seeing, hopefully, some really weird prototype locomotives that I've never seen before. I would love to see some of those in Lego. Um, that's it for the uh, rules and the regions. So we're going to um, open it up to some of our judges for um, a bit of a roundup of... Uh, let's start with... Um, the judges' favourite models from last year. So if we start with Enrico first, which which model was your standout model? Uh, model? Well, um, I do got to say the entry, which definitely one for me was the group display. Uh, the MLTC display from Melbourne. Um, well, they, they set the boundary each time they post a picture of the layout way too high for it. <laughs> you need to catch up. Um uh, they're they're the best in the world uh, hands down their layout is incredibly detailed um in scale huge really huge you can drive trains around it for i don't know how long but probably a couple of uh, kilometers before you see to see them back i think um, it's um it's 30 meters long that display isn't it the the good news is they can't win this year so <laughs> <laughs> So if you have a, <laughs> for good display, <laughs> you now have a better chance to win. Um, but their layout is hands down one of the best in the world. Incredibly detailed. Um, they have a lot of pictures of uh, the layout online. You can spend hours looking at those pictures, uh, seeing different details, um, finding things you missed. Um, it, it's well done. And I do got to say, I wish and I really wish I was uh, able to visit the layout soon. <laughs> but unfortunately, uh, the times uh, have uh, made a different uh, approach to that. Well, you never know, because I think the weekend just gone, the Brickvention event in Australia was made an Apple networking event recognized by Lego for 2022. Okay. Um, so I, I'm quite tempted to go. Um, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I'm not, but I'm maybe not sure can... how many trains you can get in a suitcase. but um, Maybe yeah. we can all go as one group. We should European yeah. invasion and American <laughs> invasion. That sounds sound good. Um, okay, thanks, Enrico. What about you, Kale? Your favourite uh, model winning uh, winner last year? Um. Well. Um. I guess probably. Well, picking from the uh, picking from the Americas, which um, I judged last year, and we'll be judging again this year. Um, probably my favorite model from the American entries was um, the Trolley 153 by William Fong. Um, that was just like, I've, I'm have i a fan, like, I, I'm a Steam fan, but I'm also a fan of uh, trolleys and, and traction models like that. And uh, and he just nailed that model spot on. It was That's just a really nice one. All, yeah, the, the shape and, you know, the windows and everything. Um, it's just just a, such a very nice model, um, and then uh, like from the global winners, I think probably my favorite would have been uh, um, the uh, narrow gauge climax from Alexander Cook. That's just uh, for a steam locomotive. That's just just absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so many details and little bits everywhere yeah so yeah, yeah, so much so much detail it's just yeah it's 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 a fantastic model we've had a when we posted um some promotional stuff on so we've been on brick set and euro bricks and um brick fanatic brick fans quite a lot of lego blogs now and um the climax is actually the one in the i think there's only a pick of five of the winners from last year but the climax is the one that everybody seems to ask about like where can they see more <laughs> photos? Where can they get more information? It is a really cool, a cool model. Um, yeah. Okay, our you second really use the larger scale. Well, for yeah, detail. it does. Yeah, it makes yeah. really great use of that. Um, so our, our second question for the the judges is, um, what your favorite category this year is? What are you looking forward to seeing uh, entries in most this year? Um. <laughs> 
I do got to say the TFO, the Tinder uh, awards have been increased this year. There are now three categories, if I'm correct. Um, I'm really looking forward because there were a lot of surprises last year uh, from a lot of builders and a lot of uh, builds we haven't seen before. So I was really surprised to see so many great models, uh, especially in that category, which I didn't really suspect. Um, also for individual display, uh, last year there weren't that many entries and I hope that will increase this year. Um, and I'm really looking forward to see, yeah, what people will build. And in May, last year, there were a couple of builders uh, and a couple of builds, which I've never seen before. A couple of locomotives that I've never heard of before, but was truly amazed how many uh, details or how good they truly were. Yeah, there were some really, um, really, really great models. And I, what, I, what I particularly liked was seeing the kind of stranger prototypes built in Lego. Yeah, um, exactly. Like locomotives I've never heard of, and I actually had to Google them and check them on Wikipedia and <laughs> learn all about them. There's a little backstory behind them, which is yeah. interesting to read or hear, uh, hear about. Uh, Kale, what about you? What's your what's the category you're looking forward to most? Um, well, I, as I said previously, I'm I'm a Steam guy, so probably I. I'm probably looking forward to Steam um, quite a bit. Um, I just love Steam. I build Steam. So I, I'm looking forward to seeing some nice new Steam locomotives pop up. But uh, um, Enrico also mentioned the uh, T-Fall category, how uh, we have uh, you know now three categories this year. And I remember from last year, there were some very good entries in the T-Fall category. Yeah. So I'm, I'm very much looking forward to seeing you know, now that we have expanded a little bit, um, what will come out of that? That'll that'll be really, really cool to see some of those builds. Yep, I agree. I think I think that would have been my pick as well. The the T four categories, we had some really amazing entries, and hopefully, having three categories instead of one means we can showcase more teenage Lego fan builders <laughs> um, a little bit more wildly, uh, wildly mm -hmm. and of course, hopefully, see more models from them as well. Um, yes. I do realize I forgot to pick my favorite model from last year, which is probably the um, it won the electric <laughs> locomotive category and it was uh, the PKP intercity model, um, which was just it looks absolutely stunning and it's very hard to capture curves in Lego of um, the sort of newer electric electric trains. I think the builder did a, a great job on those. I'm not going to embarrass myself by trying to pronounce their name properly. Uh, <laughs> you, can, you can look that up on the website. <laughs> Um, okay, so I think we can we can bring things to a, a close. So thanks, guys, for your contributions there. Um, so just to recap, uh, for the Brick Train Awards 2021, entries are open from the 1st to the 28th of February only. So please don't submit anything before the 1st of February. Um, if it's the 1st of February in your time zone, that is fine. We're we're, we're expecting <laughs> a little bit a little bit early from the um, the Australians. They usually usually a bit ahead of us. Um, this year, you can only enter by email, so please read the website, um, read through the FAQs, and then submit to bricktrainawards at gmail.com. Um, there's no Google form to fill in because that created a massive headache for judges last year. And yeah. <laughs> none, of us, none of us want to live through that again, especially not in a lockdown. Um, yeah. <laughs> so um, just email this year. Um, again, please read the rules, read the FAQs on the website, because like Enrico said, your question is probably already answered somewhere. There are a lot of FAQs um, because we've had a lot of questions, but please do take time to read that. You'll probably get a quicker response than trying to email us because we do get a lot of emails uh, and we try and get through them fast, but um, we do this in our spare time. So it can take a couple of days up to a week to get a response on some queries. Um, so uh, just to say thank you very much again to our sponsors, uh, Trick Bricks, who are sponsoring um, prizes globally and for every region winner. Um, I think they have contributed close to $10,000 US dollars in prizes this year alone. So um, we could run the awards without them, but what is an award without some prizes? Um, and, <laughs> um, there's some, certainly some great prizes there. Um, also, thanks to Scott at Brick Tracks, who is sponsoring uh, all America's winners with some track packs, which look really cool. 
and uh, to Ben at Trainbricks, who's sponsoring um, the winners of the Steam Locomotives Awards. Um, so we look forward to seeing your submissions. Don't forget the Brick Train Awards are on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And uh, you can also check out information on the website as well. Um, we will do our best once entries open to post as many entries as practical, but we still haven't found a decent way to post absolutely everything that comes in in a fair way. So um, we'll we'll do our best, bear with us. Um, and uh, yeah, we look forward to seeing what you submit. Thank you.